this unemployment versus under this this, I, I, this is a quick thing. This is quick for me. Seasonal unemployment. Just even 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 our your your UPS and FedEx. What are they higher? Twenty six thousand or something? Just seasonal? Of course, employment goes up because they it's a seasonal thing. Now everybody's looking for a job again and shit. Move on. Boring. The the the, the, the government at uh, the uh, the uh, um, say the retail sales had to get revised. From from 0.4 to 0.1, pathetic. It's, 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 there's nothing magic about what Obama has done. This is a seasonal, a seasonal employment gain and loss. Move on, boring. Okay. So, what is this? You have racism. If we dare, I kind of go. Uh, hang on. I want to go into some things in the unemployment before we go to the uh, We already covered this. There's nothing to this. Uh, I, I'm more concerned about the third story here. And that is... Of course they did. The government just admitted. They said, well, we can't account. The government is trying to brew up. Obama is making a political look to say, see, my policies are working for unemployment. He did that on a lie by using seasonal hirings that happen every year, no matter the president, when Christmas comes around, that normally get laid off by their seasonal contracts that come post the holiday season. What the Obama administration, the government doesn't want to do right now, uh, is have to say shit. Now we have to report the loss of the jobs that we gained, and we can say, look, we're we're doing good things on the ramp up to Christmas. Move on. We already know they're fuck ups. Come March, at when this quarter results in, you can get all the real shit, more revisions, and all this will be have been put to bed. So it's just boring. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just boring. Just like. All right, all right. Marcel doesn't want to talk about 11% jobless or... Don't speak this. The manipulative numbers I already explained came from the administration wanting to utilize the ramp up of seasonal hiring that now has diminished. I mean, hello. What, 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 what further needs to be said, I guess? Well, you speak your piece, because I speak a lot. You, you speak your piece. I, I, guess, I mean, that to me is just, you know, whatever. I was going to get at the third story here. Well, go for it. Which is the one that has to do with, there's, there's, uh, it's being further politicized. And that they're trying to claim, and I kind of have to laugh at this. They, one of the stories I've seen being retold over and over around the blogosphere is the idea they're comparing the third term of the Obama administration to the third term of the first uh, Bush administration. What do you mean by third term? Third it's going to be a third year, sorry. I, I misspoke. My apologies. Uh, but they're basically claiming in the third year of the Obama administration, a million more jobs were created than the third year of the Bush administration, and the claim is based on the diminished unemployment numbers. And I have to laugh at that because, you know, you're comparing a less than 6% unempl officially less than 6% unemployment for Bush to an officially over 8% percent officially 8.5 percent unemployment for Obama you're comparing a growing number of underemployed to a less than a third the number of underemployed and between these two numbers a million people plus disappeared from the workforce joined the ranks of the jobless that do not count in the unemployed. The thing that bugs me about all of those numbers, at the end of the day, really, the president is not the primary driving factor for creation or uncreation of jobs. It's the private sector and its reaction to things the government do and other factors. Uh, so, you know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a flawed comparison to start with. But what I find hysterical is, okay, there's a million people that became jobless, 
the, you know, they, 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 there's so little work for them, they don't even count. We have millions of people underemployed. We have millions more people officially unemployed, yet a million more jobs than the other guy were created. I'm just trying to figure out how those numbers all make sense. I don't understand how the claim jives. All right, let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. Bush and, and Bush had the uh, recession coming up with President Clinton, um, and then it was because everybody forgets that. Now, now keep in mind, we're talking about Bush's first term. You know, right. Dot com bubble bust and all that other shit. Right. right. Um, well, people forget that then he had 9/11, which was with the following year, when there was a very crushing blow to the economy. And we went up to what six point something percent? Or, I don't know. Well, officially, we're high. comparing the third term, and the official number is five point seven. So why we went up to six something? Exactly. The official number but, at the time was five point seven. Which is policies, not all of them. But see, I, 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 mean, I want to be very clear. As an economist, a president really can only do so much. Uh, However, yeah. A president can actually do more damage than good for an economy. Meaning that a president's policies can plant seeds in the ground to try to help the economy. Whether it responds or not, it may not. However, a president can do direct. The seed policy or ideology what I'm getting at is an indirect way. In other words, I remove regulation and, and, and ease taxes and all this, and then I, give it, I leave it up to you. Because there's nothing else that can be done. However... As a president, if I make direct regulation policy and increase taxes, has a direct and severe and very observable consequence to the economy. So what I what I'm getting at is I agree I, with the regulation. The tax one is a two-edged sword. It is, but remember, in 2003, Bush implemented the second part of that. The, what was it? The, the, the second of the, ta- the fair tax, whatever the hell it was. Isn't it true that that the peak was around like 2003 going into 2004 and then employment started to improve to what almost 4% by 2007 and then uh, uh, I mean it was like 4 4 or 5% in in, in uh, I mean not quite 4% but I mean what I'm saying it's like 4.5 maybe 5.2 up to there I, I don't remember I have to I'm just I have the chart in front of me here. Let me give it yeah, to you. Chart for you. Okay, well, I, I, okay. okay. Comparing 03, 03. You can clearly see. Mm-hmm. And you can clearly. You could probably. And, 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 and towards the end of 04, because we're comparing the four star. Now, in 06, it went down into the 4%. It went down to like 4.4. But for okay. the first term, which would end in 04, it, it closed out around 5.4. Okay, but was it going down at the end of 04? Uh, it was going down every year because of the Christmas thing, with the exception of 2002. Uh, uh, because in o- they enacted that, that, that policy, so it's got to be in between 03 and 04. That yeah, and from a, it, 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 it peaked oh, at right. it peaked unemployment peaked at 6.3 officially in June of 2003 for the 2001-2004 period. Yeah, I remember my I remember my. Thoughts. Trust me, I follow politics pretty, pretty fair. Now, if you could probably find a trend and say, oh, well, this is Bush's fault. No, there is a slight inclination going into 08. Uh, honestly, that's the other thing that has me incredibly yeah, annoyed so here. It, it, one side of the aisle saying these bastards did it, the other side of the aisle saying these bastards did it. You yeah, know, the reality is it's everybody's fault. You know, <laughs> Obama didn't do. I wouldn't say Obama did much other than scare consumers by saying I want to do these policies. Perception in economics is everything. If you convince a consumer not to spend. You've just created a disaster for a re- you know. It's just a recipe for the end. That's it. I mean, it doesn't matter if you if you've implemented anything. If businesses and consumers believe what you intend to do is harmful, they will respond ahead of time. End of story. Um, a lot of that was going on in LA, if you remember. And yeah. A lot of that, of course, when we had the. Yeah. Well, it, it, let, let's be the honest term, for a moment. The, the term election in, in, what was it, 2010, um, people began to feel safer. Isn't it ironic, though, that since Congress uh, had changed, that unemployment has kind of been 
tapering off from the massive inclination that was 08. And what well, I'm saying is... Well, uh, okay, I want to... I, 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 I think that... Here's the reality. The, wait, the, wait, the, change, the, the change in unemployment from uh, about mid-2010 to now really has nothing to do with tapering out. It has to do with people leaving the workforce. Wait, 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 not, not, that's recently. I would say they started doing that in probably... I, I, a good chunk of the 2011 year, people who uh, had been... That spiked, what was it, in 2010, what was it, remember? Yeah. We what spiked to 10% towards the, in October <laughs> of 2009, oh, we, we hung okay. just shy of 10%. No, 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 wait a minute, dude, wait Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, wait a minute. I thought in 2009, yeah, it peaked and then it went down, and then in 2010 it spiked. I thought I remember reading. Something no, the about highest, it. the highest official unemployment was in 2009 right. in October. In 2010, I, I remember reading something. There was a spike up somewhere in 2010. It may have not reached as high as it was. And in 2009, 2010, it, it spiked up to 9.9 .9 in April. What was that? What April. Was that? that was April. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, there in April, I that's when they when the job force, the, yes, they used to manipulate numbers. They just shrinked the amount of people that would they would consider looking for a job, which is a quick way of, of uh, decreasing the employment rate. You just shrink the pool. Oh, well, you, we no longer count you. Uh, so you shrink the pool. Now, after April, what does the employment numbers do? Uh, with the exception of August and November, it continues to go down. However, November is actually explained by people looking for holiday seasonal work. Exactly. It, it went 9.9, 9.6, 9.4, 9.5. In August, it went up to 9.6, then 9.5. So that's a, that's a flux variation. 9.5, and then in November, it shot up to 9.9. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so 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 that's what I'm and then it dropped to 9.4 in December, you know, the seasonal drop. So basically in November, people came in looking for seasonal work. Some of them got it. It went down. Then immediately after, it dropped to, uh, in January to 9.1. February was 9.0. 8 9.0, 9.0, 9.1, 9.1, 9.1, 9.0, 8.9. November... It actually surged way down. It went to 8.7 and went to 8.5. So it it did. There's been a micro counter thing. However, something that has been pointed out with all these numbers is that over a million Americans, basically, if you if you took the same, if the workforce was the same number of people, it was in 2009 when the administration took office. And all those people were counted back in the unemployment as opposed to being ignored as part of the jobless. The actual unemployment right now would be just over 11%. So... It, yeah, I think... Listen, it, was it, I can't remember the number, but it said millions. We're like millions... Yeah, d between a million and two million people... No, are, it's more than a million and two million. It's like... I don't know, I want to say 3 million. Oh, I had it here. Hang on. I think, I think I closed it. I know it's a very large million number in a single digits. Up or around maybe 6 or 3, three, to, three to 6 or something like that. But anyway, um, yeah, it just... I think Bush had an average employment. Was it not lower or comparable to President Clinton's? Because President Clinton absorbed a recession out of what, 92? It was a recession. Or Bush 41. So, I mean, Bush 41 was on the tail end of the recession, if I recall. It's the last part of his So the thing of it is, is that economic cycles are economic cycles, okay? So I don't necessarily give all the power to the President of Congress. I mean, us consumers and businesses are heavily responsible for the economy. But, like I said before, a president can plant the seeds to get the economy beneficial. So, 
in essence, the president can do more harm directly to the economy than helping, helping the economy. Because helping an economy, you have to step out of the way and let people do what they want to do. Harming an economy is a lot easier. I make a policy, it goes into effect, and I fuck you. That's how it works. I, I, I agree. It, it, it's it's a shame. Dang it! I wish I hadn't closed that article. I had him. I had. Well, anyway, I think we meant that to support your employment. Uh, and yes, if what you're talking about is that they're shrinking the, the labor pool, of course they are shrinking. Well, it's just shrinking the labor pool and then claiming the shrink is job creation, which I is know, just gross not. manipulation of the facts. I, I know. That's going to come around to roost because benefits paid out to those that choose to stay unemployed by this number or whatever uh, will, will come to roost. Well, 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 well what's going to happen well, is the moment the we... The counter effect will happen. Obama will leave and all of a sudden the economy gets good and then all of those that were excluded from the labor pool get included in the labor pool? That's what's been pointed out. Basically it could, the... It could make the next, you know, I mean, that could... Unemployment <laughs> will shoot at least for a month, over 10% the moment the economy starts to recover because everybody's going to go back looking for work that's given up. And that month, they're going to count. <laughs> so, so, we'll see what happens. 